Christian Rock embarrasses herself in Walmart and Nicki Minaj's husband has to do 120 days house arrest for bothering Offset. Let's get to it. Like, instead of that lady recording me, she could have just helped me. I got a dog, two carts of full of shit I need for my house. Um, I'm calling my baby daddy. Is he helping? No. So I don't know why he's chiming in either. Got my baby in the damn grocery store with damn shit folded over and he doing a back bend like he in the damn gymnastics already. All right, this video right here, what you're seeing here is this is Krishan Rock. Her and Blueface have had a very rocky relationship. I'm gonna send a clip about right here. And you fake playing with my dick. What are you talking about? And you getting me lit for what? Because we need to take a shot. This is a good shot. I want you. Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. What you're seeing is her standing there with her little dog. All these girls keep getting these little expensive dogs. And the baby is pretty much just sitting there with the head cocked back. Now, when you're dealing with a newborn, you don't really want the head cocked back like that because the body and the bones are still developing. This is why you always hold a baby by the back of the neck. But you got to realize this is a clout baby. This is not a woman who's looking to be a mom. That's why she's in there with a dog, a baby, and shopping carts. Look, in, look at her face. Even her face doesn't even have motherly qualities to it. So this is what the average Generation Z girl thinks is going to work. They think this is cute. But what it is is it's really a cry out for help. A lot of these girls are having babies because they feel like they have nothing. They have nobody that loves them. So having a baby makes them feel like they have something that they can take care of that, that that's going to love them back. And believe it or not, you have a lot of women out here that do the same thinking. Kids are always, the, the how can I say, the gateway to survival. And the reason why I say the gateway to survival is because you can always use a kid to get out of work. You can always use a kid to get money. You can always use a kid to do what? One more thing. What can you always use a kid for? To feel sorry for you. See, it's like a homeless person, right? When they got a dog, you're more likely to donate to a homeless person that has a dog because you're feeling sorry for the dog more than you are the person. The dog was pitiful. You're looking at the dog like, damn, we gotta donate to the person with the dog because he may not have enough money to feed the dog. So we at least wanna give this homeless man some money so he takes care of the dog. It's the same way when you start dealing with babies and hood boogers. They're having the child to manipulate others to feeling sorry for them. I was uh, at Walmart and... <laughs> What's up? You have to hold the baby, go shot. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> See, you have to realize she's a young girl that don't know what's going on. To her, it's a game. It's cute. And the reason why it's cute is because of how the internet responds to it. Everybody is living their life like they're trying to write a book after. The whole backyard to my Well, not really. Me and Junior. Oh my God. You know what I don't get? This bitch, this yo, yo. Why she got all that money and she ain't never getting her teeth fixed? I'm sorry, I never had shit before. Never had shit? Come on, let's go back. Look at this. Y'all see this? Had shit before. The whole back. Why this girl? This is what I don't get about Christian Rock. I really don't get how you have that much money and your teeth is still messed up. You still walking around with that one tooth missing. That's when you know people are crazy is when they're not afraid to walk around with flaws that make them look crazy like it's a difference between someone saying all right i don't care what nobody think about me then all right i'm gonna i'm gonna look like i don't care about myself and i don't care that people don't care that i don't care about myself that's a big difference she's at the level where it's like i don't care about myself and i don't care what people think that's mental illness so people should not mistake ignorance speaking out loud with the actual truth and that's what society falls for. You think a person that's talking out loud is telling their truth. You call it free speech. Um, there's free speech is there, but nobody really cares about free speech because the only way you could change shit is if you place yourself in power. 
All right, that's the only way you could change things is by placing yourself in power. Without placing yourself in power, it's not free speech. It's just complaining. And like I told you before, if you don't have a dream and you're not chasing a dream, then you're going to complain that life's not adjusting to you. It's that simple. Christian Rock also named her son Christian Jr. So, so there's a viral video going out right now with Nicki Minaj's husband. And let's see, um, I guess this is the video that got him locked up. Let's see what's going on. No, it's shot, man. Mm. No, it's shot, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. We outside. Big Zoo outside. He didn't bro. <laughs> we up in our jets, bitch. Y'all didn't get that. Y'all didn't get that outside. He always be out there. Offset, where you at? Kenneth Petty, who is the husband of Nicki Minaj, him and his friends got on Instagram and decided to call out Offset and said they were outside looking for him. Big Queens. Yeah, yeah. sturdy nigga. What's poppin'? What's ah, poppin'? Yeah. Yeah. Money, man. What's up? Yeah. What's that, man? Yeah. yeah. Huh? You don't know. Yeah. They said you don't know. Big Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. You're on that vacation. Yeah. You're planning your funeral. Yeah. Let's... Offset, where you at? That's it. Offset, where you at? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Yeah. Yeah. Money, man. What's up? Yeah. What's that, man? Yeah. Yo. Huh? You don't know. Yeah. They said you don't know. Yeah. Big Zoo. You're yeah. on that vacation. Yeah. You're planning your funeral. Yeah. Ain't all the way to the street. Ah. Okay, let me go. <laughs> I'm getting out of the jet, you fucking. He come out. What are you doing? He do, bro. All right, what you're seeing here is we up and off jet. Y'all got that. All right, what you're seeing here is let me download that video. Big shout outs, bro. Really appreciate that. What you're seeing here is with Nicki Minaj's husband, he's still trying to slide out and do some thug shit. And this is something that a lot of guys face when you're with a alpha woman. When you're with a woman like Nicki Minaj, she done done a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes to emasculate you as a man, that it makes you feel weak. And every time you've seen this man with Nicki Minaj, it always looked like she ran a relationship and he didn't run the relationship. So now any little thing that happens, she's trying to tell him, go out there, be a thug, defend me because his girl said that, but he's not realizing, bro, you look like a clown. Y'all are too rich. To literally be sitting up caring what someone else is going to think about you. And you shouldn't really be outside in New York City trying to call somebody out who's on a private jet in Colorado. It doesn't make sense. People are losing and, and, and pretty much destroying their life off of what bots think. The spectators and critics, that's what they're doing. They're trying to figure out what bots are doing. They're trying to impress the bots. People are getting shaken out of their spots because of comments, likes, and views. To the point where, bro, you have all the money already. You're with Nikki. You're supposed to be on some laid back shit. But he ain't on no laid back shit. He on that insecure man shit because Nicki Minaj don't make him feel like a man. She makes him feel like a little boy. So when guys are thinking in little boy terms, they're thinking intimidation terms. That's why I tell a lot of hood dudes, like, hood dudes are only tough when they come across other hood dudes. They're not tough when they have to deal with a real man. When hood people have to deal with military people, it's a different ball game. They shut the fuck up. But when hood people deal with other hood people, they're loud and proud. See, he's thinking, I can shake Offset off just by going hood to hood. But he's not realizing, bro, Offset looks hood, but Offset has already escaped that already. These dudes have already learned from takeoff situation of takeoff getting killed. They not on that no more. Once you get to a certain level of money and, and, and a certain level of success, you don't care about that. See, Offset was the one running the relationship with him and Cardi B. Cardi B don't really run that relationship offset runs that relationship but in his relationship and we're talking about Nicki Minaj's husband he doesn't have any power so the only power that he has is words and threatening it's the same thing with looking at trolls online once you reach a level of insecure as a person the only power you have is trying to shake somebody else out of their happiness trying to shake somebody else and get a reaction trying to shake somebody else's mood because you don't have control over yourself 
that's the only thing that you're saying with Petty. And the only thing you're saying with Nicki Minaj's husband is that you're just showing us that she's the boss. You don't have any control. You go hang around your hood dudes who ain't really doing nothing. And they trying to get you to talk shit, but it's only making you look like a clown. Because you in the hood and Offset is on the streams. He's out here at video games. He on CSI. Like Offset done took it to a whole nother level now. Like get real. He a movie star too now. So you got to realize he's in a whole different class. And when you realize what lane you in, then you don't really allow anyone else to shake you up out of that lane. That's the story that needs to be learned from here.